Tinibu's lead lawyer, Wole Olani Pekun, admits that Tinibu is guilty, begs tribunal to do this for Tinibu against Peter Obi. Breaking news. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. You know, when Nigerians are saying that the tribunal is on trial, you know, a lot of people don't understand what is happening. You know, when this election petition tribunal started, Tinibu's lawyer, especially this is lead lawyer, being Wole Olani Pekin, he was be busy denying that Tinibu did not commit this, Tinibu did not do that, Tinibu did not commit this particular offense. And he was thinking that people be lawyers being Livy Uzuku and others, you know, they didn't come prepared or, and they didn't even, you know, prepare and have enough evidence to prove their case in court. You know, as the court and as the uh, court uh, process uh, progressed, you know, they saw that people will be as a matter of fact and his lawyers had all the evidences that they need to prove their uh, case beyond all reasonable doubt that this particular man, as a matter of fact, Tinibu should be disqualified. Now, Wole Olani Pekun has made a U-turn. You know, I would show you, he recently admitted that Tinibu committed this particular crime, but what he's not asking the court to do is why Nigerians are so scared, and that is why Nigerians are saying that the tribunal is on trial. What is Wole Olani Pekun, being Tinibu's lawyer, is asking the court, he's no longer arguing that Tinibu did not commit the crime, or he's now twisting and making a U-turn and telling the tribunal what the tribunal should do, that he has admitted that Tinibu did this and that. Now, you look at what he's begging the tribunal to uh, do. Well, before we dive into the uh, cross and uh, main uh, issue today, if this is your first time of visiting this particular channel, you know, as a matter of fact, don't hesitate to click on the notification button so I get notified whenever I drop a new and important video like this and equally subscribe to this particular YouTube channel. Now, let's head straight to the point. You know, I told you that one of the mischievous set of human beings we've, have, uh, we've had in this particular election petition tribunal is Bola Ahmed Tinibu. You know, I don't blame them because when you're defending somebody that every, virtually everything about him is forged and is fake of course you find it uh, difficult for you to say the truth because you don't even know the person you're defending you don't even know the person you're defending as i'm talking to you tinibu's lawyers have made a whole lot of uh, uh, admittance that tinibu did this and that and committed this but now look at what they're telling the court to do the first thing tinibu's lawyers admitted and their witness the witness they brought in court is that tinibu forfeited 460 thousand uh uh, 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 US dollars which which is ordered by a competent court, uh, court of jurisdiction as per violation of US being the United States Constitution of 1956 and the United States Constitution of 1957, bordering on money laundering and narcotic trafficking. You know, when they started this particular uh, uh, case, Tinibu's lawyers, we are busy asking that, that uh, we are busy arguing that Tinibu did not commit any crime. But when people lawyers now drew their attention to what the Constitution said, they now understood that this is a big crime that Tinibu committed. They came to court and they now, have, in their final written addresses, they now agree that Tinibu committed this particular crime, that he, for 1560000 US dollars that he committed this particular crime. Now, Tinibu's lawyer said yes, that Tinibu was ordered to forfeit. Listen, you know, you should understand what, the, what Tinibu's lawyers are trying to do here. They said yes, that they admit that Tinibu was ordered to forfeit 460000 US dollars as an outcome, as an outcome sentence for a civil petition for violation of, which we say, United States Constitution of 1956 and 1957. Now, look at what Tinibu's lawyers are telling the election petition tribunal judges to, to do for them. They have admitted that Tinibu committed this crime, that he forfeited this, and he actually committed money laundering and, uh, 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 and all that, you know. Then, then they are not telling the tribunal that the tribunal lawyers, that Tinibu's lawyers equally submitted as a matter of fact, that the forfeiture, being this Tinibu's forfeiture, happened, happened more than 10 years ago in consideration of Section 137 or 1E, this is 1E of the uh, Constitution. Now, let me show you what that section of the Nigerian Constitution is trying to say and how Tinibu's lawyers are trying to, you know, uh, uh, deceive and be, uh, and be mischievous in this election petition tribunal. Now, Section 137E of the, election peti of, of the uh, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria said that a person shall not be qualified to vie for the presidential uh, 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 position if within a period of less than 10 years before the date of election to the office of president, he has been convicted and sentenced for an offense involving dishonesty or he has been found guilty of the contravention of the code of conduct. Now, this is the part that Tinibu's lawyers are referencing, saying that uh, since Tinibu uh, forfeited and committed that crime less uh, 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 more than uh, uh, 10 years ago, you know, Tinibu committed the crime 29 years ago, that uh, the court, as a matter of fact, should uh, allow the case to go, and the court should not disqualify Tinibu because of a crime that he committed 29 years ago. Since the Constitution of Nigeria said that uh, within a period of less than 10 years, that if the person, if the crime is more than a period of 10 years, that the person can, is, can be deemed to be innocent to vie for the presidential or any other position within this particular country. But there is one thing they don't understand. 
you know, they, you know, this is election petition tribunal, and they are trying to be smart, thinking that they can have smart people of these lawyers and even the common sense of all Nigerians and all that. You can see what they are doing now. They've accepted that Tinubu forfeited. Initially, they were arguing that Tinubu did not uh, commit any crime, but after the constitution of Nigeria, you know, in, indicted and equally revealed that Tinubu committed a crime, now they are making a youth on saying that Tinubu. As a matter of fact, did not commit any crime. Now, now, let me tell you what the Constitution of Nigeria said, 137D said, you know, which is where Peter Obi's lawyers are actually holding and laying their claims onto. Now, Peter Obi's lawyer is, is, is telling Tinibu, of course, that this particular Constitution or this Section 137E, uh, which they just quoted, that since the case happened uh, 10 years ago, as a matter of fact, that uh, the tribunal should declare that Tinibu is innocent to vie for any uh, any position, political position within the country. Peter Obi's lawyer is saying that it is a lie. If you read this section 137E, you know, uh, uh, very well, you will, see, you, you will see that this particular section of the constitution, which says that within a period of less than 10 years, was specifically talking about if the person, as a matter of fact, has been convicted and sentenced for an offense involving dishonesty, the person must be convicted and sentenced. Now, people should know that Tinibu was neither convicted, neither was he sentenced. He only was fined. And this is what Peter Obi's lawyers are arguing about. Peter Obi's lawyers are saying that Tinibu truly, he was not sentenced, he was not fined. Section 137D of the uh, Constitution of Nigeria said something. He said that the person is not qualified to vie for the prison if he is under a sentence of death imposed by any com competent com court of law or tribunal in Nigeria or or is a disjunction, meaning meaning either of these can be disqualified the person. Or is a disjunction, meaning either of these. That means if you fail this or fail this, anyone, any any of these things that you fail has disqualified you. So let's let's come again. He said if the person is under a sentence of death, death imposed by any competent court of law or tribunal in Nigeria, or a sentence of imprisonment, then another or fine for any offense involved involving dishonesty or fraud by whatever name called. Now, this part is the part that is qualified in this section 137D that says, or fine, that the person will be disqualified if the person is not qualified to vie for the presidential position. If the person is under a fine for any offense involving dishonesty, remember the section E was saying about if the person has been convicted or sentenced, if the person has been convicted or sentenced, this is what the constitution of the Nigeria is saying, which Tinibu's lawyers are trying to, you know, misquote and misrepresent, saying that since Tinibu committed this crime 10, uh, 29 years ago, that it doesn't hold, it, it can't be bring, brought up against him, you know, which is a lie. This, this section 1D of uh, 137-1D says that if the person has been fined for any offense involving dishonesty or fraud by whatever name called, meaning the person, if the person has actually failed or been found guilty of this, the person he, he will be disqualified and is not fit to deem or to vie for the presidential position. So we're not talking about convictions and sentencing. This is what Tinibu's lawyers are trying to misquote and misrepresent. You know, they are trying to lie to the election petition tribunal and trying to confuse everybody, thinking that you know it it even doesn't make doesn't, doesn't make sense. That that means you are saying that if a criminal who has been convicted, a murderer, and a, a, a very corrupt person can actually come and vie for the presidential position after ten years, it does not make sense. The Constitution of Nigeria was specific, saying that if the person was sentenced or convicted for an offense involving only dishonesty or he has been found guilty of contravention of the code of conduct this is the only two offenses that you know that the person must be sentenced or convicted you know uh, that if it elapses 10 years that the crime might be waived off for the person but if the person has been fined if the person has been fined for dishonesty or, or money laundry or fraud or anything the person is not qualified as a matter of fact to vie for any presidential position within the country well, this is the truth of the matter. So Tinibu's lawyers should admit and stop begging the tribunal to do the, 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 the impossible. Well, I like guys to drop a comment in the comment section and follow subscribe to this particular channel.